Hello, my floss tube friends. It's time for another episode. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome to another Fun Friday Floss Tube weekly update with me. My name is Annie, and I am Joyfield Stitcher, both here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And you've reached my channel and this video about cross stitch. We call it Floss Tube. I say we, but I am not one of the original folks who came up with floss tube. Um, that was probably six or more years ago when the OGs of floss tube decided, hey, we film YouTube videos. We work with floss. Let's call it floss tube. So here we are. Um, I have been doing these type videos for almost two years, uh, two years in May. So let's say a year and a half. And we're on number 87 already. And it's Friday, January 15th, 2021. So if you are fairly new joining me, I want to welcome you to this awesomeness. I'm going to hype myself up. <laughs> this awesomeness. Um, if, however, you are one, not however, that's good. That's kind of starting out in a negative tone. No. If you are one of my faithful viewers who, friends, who comes back week after week to share in all the tomfoolery that is in my stitching and knitting life, and just my life in general. Thank you so much. Um, it's been a good week. It's been a long week. That's not a negative thing. It's just felt like a long week. And I think that that kind of happens when you're like anticipating a three-day weekend. Um, we are having a three-day weekend. Our school observes um, MLK Day on Monday. And um, so yeah, I'll kind of talk a little bit more about what we have going on elephant in the room is I am wearing one of my knitted finishes. So I think I shared my finish of this in last week's video. This is let the yarn do the work for you. It's a little like shawlette. It's a very small shawl, little triangular shawl knit from the top down with this super cute ruffle. It's knit with one skein of DK weight yarn and I used Molly Klein Designs uh, Wishing for Rhinebeck, which is beautiful. I blocked it last weekend. So I figured I'd wear it today for a little bit. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I am film, starting my filming a tiny bit later. It's about 5.30 my time um, here in Texas. But I, after I left work, I needed to go by the bank and put my paycheck in. And then I needed to, um, I didn't need to go to Michael's, but I went by Michael's because they were having a big clearance thing. So I got a few plannery related things. I got a couple skeins of 3371 because I seem to always not have that because it's in lots of charts. So I grabbed a few of those and some little, little cute little treat bags, favor bags for Joy Filled Little Ones class for Valentine's Day. Cause they have really nice ones that have zips, kind of zip tops, but handles, handles and zip tops. And so I sent a picture to her and said, is there, are there any of these that you like? She's with my mom. And so she on my mom's phone. And she, of course, immediately zoomed in on the ones that are alligators with pink tutus. I had briefly looked at them and thought they were flamingos with green outfits. I was right. Color scheme. I fully believe that I need to go get my eyes checked. One, because I'm of that age. Two, it's been about two years. And I really could use some new glasses. And three... That being one scenario where my eyes failed me. The second being, I got, um, I placed a big, a kind of a, a reasonable sized order from Ann Taylor Loft before Christmas. And it came in, you know, I, I wasn't in any hurry to get it. It's a bunch of really good sale items. Everything came in and had some kind of sparkly thread in it. Now, granted, the titles didn't say anything about shimmer or sparkle or anything, but apparently I didn't see them. In the images of the items. And I'm usually pretty good about like zooming in, looking at the front, the back, mm -mm, none. So yeah, I think I need to go get my eyes checked. But anyway, this week was really great. So I want to start out first by welcoming those back who join me week after week, who are my faithful floss tube friends, who encourage me and lift me up in the comments. I am so appreciative of you and I really want to thank you for hanging in there with me week after week. 
And to those of you who are new or fairly new, and if you, I haven't, you know, formally welcome you to my floss tube friend gang, welcome. So, um, yeah, we are, you know, kind of starting in, in the, I mean, we're kind of in the middle of January where 2021's going, eh, ish. Um, but yeah, I, this week, like I said, was long, honestly, on my way home from the Michaels, I was thinking, hmm, I want to film a video, but I also want to sit down, have dinner, and go to sleep. <laughs> it's just been, I'm just tired. It's, you know, it's been a fulfilling week, but it's been a long week. Beverage of choice is water in my massive head-sized jug. I've been doing so good, though. I get through about three of these a day. Now, if I don't get through two of them pretty early on in the day, and I'm trying to get, you know, that second and third one, I'm up at 4 a.m. peeing. Sorry if that's TMI. You get real life over here. Real life and truth. So, what's something cool? You know, Michelle G, Bendy Stitchy, she says, what's, you know, what's awesome in the world today? What's her best new thing? Well, I got an email today from Lindy Stitches that she is re-releasing a pretty cool chart. She revamped it. And it's going to be a must stitch. I don't know how I've missed this in all of her time, all of the time I spend on her website because I love everything. So let me, let me show it to you. Dude, I got a lot of emails today. Um, so y'all know my love of the Gilmore Girls, not Gilmore Girls, but I do love the Gilmore Girls, the Golden Girls, the other Gigi. So we've got Gilmore Girls Gigi or the Golden Girls. And so this is her chart that she's revamped and it says it's like that old Scandinavian saying, you can lead a herring to water, but you, you have to walk fast or he'll die. I love it. Oh my gosh. Stephanie is fantastic. So I thought I'd bring my friends to come, um, to come see my video today. These were a late arrival for Christmas from my mom. She gets me. She gets me. Dorothy is here. Say hello, Dorothy. Ma. Shady Pines, ma. So these are Hallmark itty bitties for those who don't know. So we've got Dorothy. Blanche. Look at, look at her. She fancy. Rose. I love Rose. Betty White's getting ready to celebrate her 99th birthday. How awesome is that? And this might be like epic. Look at <laughs> She has her purse. Oh my goodness. I'm dying. I'm dying. I've got to find a great, and it's like her chain for her glasses. Like, Sophia is legit the bomb. I want Sophia to just sit on my shoulder. But she won't. But these are so cute. And I love them. But that was kind of in honor of that really cool chart that's been re-released. So what do we have to chat about today? I have a finish. Whoop, whoop. Other than the fully finished. So I have a fully finished knitting project. All the ends are woven in. It's blocked. It's being worn. So it's finished. I have a stitchy. F-O, or finished object. I have one start, um, which is part of a stitch along. I have a few whips I worked on. Not much. I kind of like really honed in on my focus. I want to show you one of my knitting projects. I want to talk a tiny bit about plans, like what's kind of coming up the remainder of this month. Um, I will talk a little life update kind of smattered in throughout. Got some stash. And that's going to be kind of it. I will say I want to go ahead and shout out those folks who took the opportunity and um, their hard-earned money and bought me a fancy floss this week or more. So um, I had at least one that said, please don't shout me out. So that is an anonymous benefactor. You know who you are, and I really appreciate you for those 10 fancy floss. That was like phenomenal. And I'm not going to shout out your actual name, but thank you so much. Um, these folks didn't say, don't say their name. So I'm going to, I typically say first name, last initial. 
in your comments, if you buy, if you feel so inclined to buy me a fancy floss and don't want me to share your name, you are welcome to put that in your comments. But you took the time to show some love to me with your generosity. So I want to share how awesome you made me feel. So these folks bought me at least one fancy floss this week. Barb P. Thank you, Barb, so much. Colleen I. Thank you, Colleen. Uh, Susan L. Thank you so much, Susan. Tracy D. Thank you, Tracy. Heather W. Thank you so much, Heather. Michelle B. Thank you so much, Michelle. I really appreciate it. Cindy S. Thank you so much, Cindy. Robin S. Thank you so much, Robin. And Ann S. Thank you all so, so, so much. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and do the hug of the day. So everybody, come on in for a hug. Mm -hmm. There's one. Mm -hmm. And then let's do a hug. Give yourself a hug. Because it's Friday. Friday. All right. So it was a good week at work. I've spent a lot of time um, in the evenings kind of catching up on floss tube. I'm still in Flossmas, but I'm getting, I think I've actually made it through Christmas. And that was kind of when a lot of Flossmas videos dropped off. But now I'm getting into all the whip parades, which is like epic and I'm excited, but those are long videos. So I am still going to be perpetually behind, but that's okay. It is okay. Um, we are gearing up for Joyfield Little One's birthday. She will be turning nine at the end of this month, which blows my mind. I cannot even. Um, she does not know that we're having a surprise drive through birthday party for her. We are, our theme is cloud nine, that she's on cloud nine because she's turning nine. And um, so, yeah, that'll be fun. We're going to do that actually on her birthday, which is on a Sunday um, in the afternoon. And so it's a sh surprise. Sh um. Oh, this weekend I set about to get every last pass the stash giveaway item sent out. Everything has been mailed. I'm so proud of myself. I shouldn't be. I should be slapping myself silly for having waited so incredibly long to get some of them out. And y'all have just been so gracious. I've had so many people message me on Instagram and are like, thank you so much for sending me such and such. Like, oh, it was so exciting to get it. And I, you know, like, oh, it means so much. And I'm like, but it's a train wreck that it's been two months and you're just not getting it. Life happened. There are no excuses, but I will be better in the future. I promise. This past weekend was uh, the first annual, first monthly whip go weekend so it is the second full weekend of the month will be a whip go and so the object is to kind of make some weekend long goals on your two whip go pieces whip go is the incredible idea of um jesse marie of jesse marie does stuff and um if you do not follow her on instagram you should because she had some really super exciting family news this week and I'm so excited for you, Jesse. I know you have zero time to watch Floss Tube, but I am I am over the moon thrilled for you and your sweet family. Um, so anywho, it's her idea. There's a great group on Facebook called Whipgo 2021. And there's lots of details in there about how to do it. You can join anytime. Um, but basically you're setting goals on your projects for the year or for the month. Um, I have chosen to make my goals on my Whipgo board for the whole year. Um, and so like this month is Berry Buzz by Luminous Fiber Arts and Tree of Magic by Barbara Anna Designs. And one of them, I put my goal is seven days of stitching, which is equates to an hour a day, each one of the days. And then for Tree of Magic, it's 14 days. So my goal though for Whip Go Weekend was three hours on each, which would equate to three days. Um, but I did it as hours because I didn't know that I would have dedicated stitching time on each at each day of the weekend. So I wanted to make it a realistic but a reach goal. And for me, that's a reach goal. Um, so I made both my goals, which is fantastic. Today was super duper windy. Um, we're talking like 45 mile per hour gust. One of my dear friends I teach with, they had just gotten a cute little wooden playhouse in their backyard for their daughter who's three. Um, her husband, who's working from home, heard this crash 
and it the wind had ripped the roof off of it and then sent it flying across the yard and smashed it into pieces. It's very sad. Um, so they're going to get it put back together, but they've got to figure out a way to like strap it down. So I think that's enough sh uh, chitter chatter. Let's, let's look at some projects. Let's look at some stuff. So let's start with my finish. How about that? So other than my FFO, which I'm going to take this off um, for right now, put that over there. Um, I did get a finish on a project. So other than my um, blocking of that. So this lived in a bag I sewed with some cute gnome fabric from Joann's. And this is upside down. It doesn't really, the chart's saying any, any which way you look at it. This is Luminous Fiber Arts Berry Buzz, um, designed by Misty Purcell. I stitched this on 18 count Ariel from Picture This Plus, and I finished it, yay. And I stitched it in, I think, all of the called for colors, which is a mix of Weeks Dye Works and DMC. So yay, I finished it. I think it's so cute. Somebody said, oh, it looks like the top of a Biscornu. I think I might turn it into like a little pin cushion. I'm not 100% sure of a finish. I'm not a big FFOer. I kind of end up with like a drawer. I have a drawer in my office that has all these finishes, but with like, I kind of have to be in a mood. Um, and I don't think I want this one in my stitchy journal. So I'm not really sure what this is going to be yet. Um, but what I would like to do is pass this chart along to one of you who would like to stitch it. Uh, it will ship in a nine by 12 flat envelope. Um, no additional padding. That way I can send it with a $1 stamp. So if you would like to stitch this Luminous Fiber Arts chart, there are a couple things I'd like for you to do. One, you need to be 18 so I can have your address legally. Please have filled out the Google um, form that's linked below that says Happy Mail form. That is how I have your information to send this to you. When I pick a winner by random YouTube comment picker, if you have not filled out that form, I pick someone new. Um, Please do not say giveaway free, kind of those words that are like buzzwords that if you put them in somebody's searches, they will hit upon my video and then we'll have people who don't actually want to stitch this winning it. And I don't want that to happen. Um, and if you will use the word buzz, B-U-Z-Z. -Z. So um, this is a super fun, very quick stitch. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think this is a great chart. It will not be my last one from Misty. She has fantastic charts. So I'm going to put that back there so I can remember where it is. So yay, I finished that one. And I got some good progress on some other ones. So I'll go ahead and show you um, my Tree of Magic. The image that I have is from the card that was sent with the kit. It's not the full tree, but you get a good idea. And where I am working is in this row right here and this row right here. So I got in quite a bit of work. Um, I am still, I do still have this out and on the hoop because I am going to go ahead and m try to meet my goal of 14 days this month. And so far I think I'm up to five. So we're, we're rocking on. Um, and this is a Mad for Minders needle minder. This is on 18 count Caraway. That's the colorway from Color and Cotton. And so I put in some more of this house some more of these cute little like toadstools over here. I put in the cat's eyes, some of the weeping willow, some of the yellow. Basically, I worked in the two colors of yellow. And I also put in some more of this tree and the green of the weeping willows. So I'm just kind of trucking along. This is a super fun stitch. Y'all know, any of you that have been around for any length of time, know that I am absolutely obsessed with every single thing that Barbara Anna designs and um, must have all the things. And she has a sale coming up on February 1st. I've been working on my conversion. Um, some of you have asked if I would share it. I think I shared it on Instagram. I shared that I was converting it on Instagram. It's called uh, Dreaming Girl. It's a stitch along. You can find it on creativepoppy.com. Um, I am going to convert her, I believe. And I think I'm going to host a sale that's hashtag dreaming of a better world sale. Because I think the girl kind of looks like she's dreaming of a better world. All right, so then I also, this project had a birthday. It lives in a project bag that I sewed and did the applique on. This is a koala pop pattern that you can find, and I actually have it in here so I can reference it when I show this bag, from So Quirky. Back last year, when a lot of um, crafty folks were doing 
kind of, I lost my whole words, all the words, all the thoughts fire relief efforts for Australia and, you know, doing donations based on selling of charts. This applique pattern that's Elton and Peaches was, um, they donated a percentage of their proceeds or all their proceeds. I'm not 100% sure because it was a year ago and I've slept since then to the Australian fire relief efforts. And so I did Elton. I did not do the iridescent vinyl because one, I didn't have it. And two, um, I just didn't. And so I love Elton. I think he's amazing. It's a super fun. I love applique. And so I really, I really loved working on that. And this holds an Australian fire relief chart. This is from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This is called With Love. I do think this might still be on their website, but I do not believe it is still a, um, like the proceeds go to anything. I am working on this on a mystery linen from a color and cotton grab bag and is that right yes that's right I hope that's right who knows at this point um so it's this really pretty minty color and so I worked on all there's two colors of yellow in these leaves to give them dimension and then I put in some of the green now I'm starting to think it doesn't go that way no that's the way my stitches go so yes that is the way it goes so I put in some more time. I did about two days on this um, because its birthday was on the 11th and I worked on it the next day. So really enjoy this little stitch. Um, it's a fun one to have out. It's um, in all the called for DMC. All right, I pulled out the project that is in this project bag that I made with one of my stitchy finishes. This is Mary and Bright Sal by Ships Manor. It's in all the called for flosses on 18 count navy Ada. And what is living in here is my Linens and Threads Mystery Sampler 2020. And I did work a bit more on this. I'm just kind of pulling it out. I'm not taking it off the key snap. And I put in the rest of this fan flower and more of the tropical ocean color. So my goal for the month on this is to finish this motif. Um, I'm not going to be like real stubborn with myself and be like, no, you must finish by the end of tomorrow. I'm going to be realistic um, and know that that was one of the reasons why it got put away for so long is I got burnt out on it. So, all right. So now for my new start, I started, this was um, Aaron T. Martini Stitcher did a stitch along on this. This is a Patreon exclusive from Ink Circles. It's called Alicia's Olives. Um, she did the first colorway, and I have it printed out, so I'm going to stitch it as well, as Goody Goody Gumdrops. So this was a November 2020 Patreon exclusive, and one of her patrons said, that looks like, all that could be like olives. And so she charted it as olives. So she said you could either stitch this background, the kind of pinkish tone, or put it on a pinkish tone and just have the olives. She's calling that a plate. Well, Michelle G. Bendy Stitchy said it's pimento loaf. So hashtag pimento loaf sal is currently happening. I was like, yes, it is pimento loaf done. I'm starting it. So I think we both started it yesterday. So hashtag pimento loaf sal. I have this going with the called for colors, uh, which is DMC. With the exception, I did not have the pimento color of DMC. And so I pulled Gentle Arts Tomato because I thought it looked like pimentos. Um, and I didn't know I was going to be going to Michael's today. So I have a bit of a start on the bologna. Uh, so here's my start. This is 20 count charcoal Ada. So my, my pimento loaf is going to be a very small pimento loaf. Um, a snack size, an hors d'oeuvre size portion, if you will. So that's my four lines of bologna. Um, so yeah, that's a fun little, fun little start. I don't have much to show y'all stitching wise, guys. I kind of really honed in on a few projects. Makes me sad. Um, but I do want to show you some knitting. Can I show you some knitting? So I am currently, um, working on CC Java Pearl's vanilla cappuccino socks. They're toe up. Um, and this is in Nomadic Yarns, Kiss the Girl. 
which is a self-striping yarn. It's so fun. And last week when I showed it, I had it on my nine inch circulars. I was having major, like I was not near as fast. So I put it back on magic loop. So I am doing the magic loop. Um, and I went ahead, I've done quite a bit, not a ton, but I've only been able to really pull this out in a few minutes here or there at work, you know, do around whatever. My progress keeper is from Charmed and Dangerous. This was her December Charm of the Month Club. And it's a cute little skunk. Because, you know, stinky feet. Skunk. And these are Chai Gu. I think they're 32-inch circulars. US ones. And somebody asked me in a comment, how do I know which size to use? And how do I know what size these are? Like once they're, once I've started it. Well, one, one thing is I, I will typically look at what the pattern calls for. And if I am knitting the pattern, I'm not a big checker of gauge, but I don't do a lot of garment stitching. And the one thing with toe up socks is I can adjust this as I knit. So, and my other thought is, if these are too small for me, they will fit another pair of smaller feet in my house. Who would be thrilled to have them? Okay, so what I was saying is, so I will look at the pattern and see what it calls for. If I am stitching with the same weight, then I will typically go with whatever the pattern calls for. However, sometimes I will also look at what the yarn calls for. T typically hand dyed yarns do, do not have like a needle size indicated on them because they assume that you're going to use it with a pattern that's going to have suggested needle sizes. That being said, some of the more commercial brands, um, even some of the more kind of like the small business, small dyers that are not indie dyers, but are not like Red Heart yarns, they will also have a suggested needle size. It sometimes will be a range of sizes. That's just something you have to learn about also your own knitting style. I typically have fairly tight tension, so I can cut sometimes go up a size and it still be pretty good. Um, the one nice thing about Chai Goos is that they are laser engraved um, on the needle itself. I'm looking for it on this one. My light's a little dim um, and it's for sure probably not gonna focus, but like right here, it, it shows up a lot better, but you, you can maybe see. I'll tell you what it says, but right here is laser engraved. Chai Gu. I need to get my eyes checked. US 1, 12.25 millimeters. It'll also typically tell you the cable length. Oh, I'm going to go cross-eyed trying to look at that. Okay, so I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> But I will say on the larger needles, it's a lot easier to see. The other thing that I do is I keep the sleeves and then I put the sleeve in the project bag. And then when I'm done, I put it back in. And then I have a binder with little zip pouches that holds my needles in order, my needle sizes in order. And typically I have one zip pouch with each size. And so, but it'll have different cable lengths. You can also measure your cable lengths. Um, to see they're in stand they're in centimeter typically um but i keep mine organized like that and this is in a spectacular yarns bag and i love it because it's got the little snaps in it so yeah that's all she wrote for stitching so i talked a little bit about plans as we went along but for sure um i want to continue on with tree of magic for whipgo um, I have plugged in some of my projects like Mystery, Sampler, some of my other ones on 24 Hours of Cross Stitch Acrostic. Um, that is Jen Lee of Quirks and Stitches. And you can find those, I believe, in her 24 Hours of Cross Stitch group um, or page on Facebook. Or you can go and buy her planner and have them all for the whole year, especially if you're a forward planner like me. I'm rocking some mall bangs again today. Could be the wind. Um, oh, Alpha My Bets, which is a semi sane Stitchers event that I am part of, um, Letter B starts today. So those will be on the docket to get the, all my Letter Bs on my birds in hand stitched. Um, Erin Martini Stitcher, she's my, she's one of my stitchy besties. 
She, on January 16th, is hosting a quirky Quaker style to work on one of um, Darling and Whimsy Designs quirky Quakers. So I will be prob I will be working on Hedgehog. I might even get a finish on that one. And then that will allow me to start the bat, which is the next one in the series. I, I do have a plan for a start on Joy-Filled Little One's birthday. And I originally said I might start Stargazer on her birthday. But there's a Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery birthday banner that's super cute that I want to stitch for her. And make up into like a little either chair pocket or wall hanging for on her birthday. And I actually might stitch it twice because I'm thinking I might stitch one with no name on it for in my classroom. But I don't know. We'll see. Um... And Stargazer, will, Stargazer is going to be started, I believe, by the end of the month. It may get pushed to a date in February. I'm trying to make it meaningful. I also would like to have a few more of my goals accomplished um, for January before I start another big Mira. I'm itching to start it, but I also know that I, I'm working on push putting progress in some of the things I already have. All right, so... I think that's all she wrote in terms of plan. Now, stash can, can tend to get a little long. So we're going to do um, stash. <laughs> it's joy filled stash stash time. I don't know if I want to do what's in the bucket first or what's in the box over there. I think we'll do what's in the bucket first. What's in the box is the Black Needle Society uh, January box of the month. And I think I'll do that at the end and do a spoiler, 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 because I know some people have not gotten theirs yet. So the first thing that I got is I have been seeing um, some folks stitching some old ornaments from Just Cross Stitch ornament issues of yore. When Blackbird Designs was in there, Lizzie Kate was in there. Buttercup Designs was in there. That is not saying that like the 2020 issue wasn't rockin' awesome because it was. There's like, I'm stitching like three of them or four of them currently. Um, but there's some good ones back in the day. Well, I knew for a fact I wanted the 2011 issue. And so I put a search in on eBay. And some came up, but they were like wanting too much money or, you know, they had too many days left. So I, you know, watched it, but then I also put in a search criteria. Well, one got listed and it was a great price with free shipping. So I went ahead and snagged it. So I did go ahead and get the 2011 Christmas issue. Um, this would be Steph's fault, would be this ornament right here because she stitched this as one of her ornaments this in 2020. Uh, it's Blackbird Designs and it's Joybird. Yep, gotta have it. Plus, this squirrel from Victoria Sampler, yep, that's on my list too. So yeah, um, I went ahead and got this, just because sometimes it's nice to have a magazine to flip through. I typically go digital with all of my other ones. So speaking of that, I realized there's this thing on 123 Stitch. I think you can get it elsewhere, but that's where I bought mine. That would be... Christmas Ornaments Collection, 1997 through 2013. 1,000 patterns are all now yours. Super cool. It comes on DVD. Um, I borrowed my, my laptop both here and at school. Do not have um, a CD drive, a, a drive in them anymore. Um, that's just kind of Apple has gone to that. However, he has an iMac and had bought, when he bought his eight years ago, he bought a little uh, Apple branded CD drive, DVD drive that plugs in by USB. So I plugged it in. It, each issue is separate and you open it and it shows you the whole issue and you scroll through like a PDF. One really cool thing is they have um, the contents pages as one file separately. So what I did is I printed out that document as a PDF and went through each issue and highlighted all the ones that were like, yes, 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 yes. So now I kind of have an index of where I want to go to look. So I don't have to go and look through every single issue to find what I'm interested in. So I thought that was kind of cool. That's a little, maybe not a little known fact. Uh friend of mine that I follow on Instagram was having a D-stash and she does yarns and fabrics and so I got some goodies. 
So the first thing that I got, and there's going to be a tiny bit of crinkle crinkle, but I have to take this out to show you, and I did not anticipate it. So she had me stitch me fabrics, and this specifically is the February fabric of the month before I belong to the fabric of the month. This is an 18 count Ada, which is my fave, and this is a Nova. Look at that. That's like happiness on a piece of fabric. I love it. This kind of reminds me of like in Sleeping Beauty when the fairies are fighting pink, no blue, pink, no blue. You know, and you get like the pink blue explosion. That's what this is. Yes. So I got that. Then I got two awesome yarns. So this is from Teeny Button Studio. And this is a soft sock in dance magic dance look at how fun that is like i think my favorite is this unexpected orange that's in here so this is going to make a fun pair of socks and then i've heard great things about once upon a corgi and this is in penny which is their superwash merino cashmere and nylon it is luxe and this is in the colorway justice it's like uh, all the rose and blush came together. And then you've got, boom, neatness down there. Like, super fun. All right. So then some more fabrics. And some I will take out and some I will not. I placed a website order on Color and Cotton because I saw this pop up in the ready to ship and must have it. This is 14 count in grapefruit. This might still be up there. I don't know. It's beautiful. Beautiful. So I got that, and my fabric of the month came. Um, I get 20 count Ada. I have dropped down to a quarter, an eighth, because look at how big the eighth is. And on 20 count, that's a lot. That's several smalls, at least. Um, and this is in the color Warm Sienna, and it's beautiful. I think that's gorgeous. My coloring's not doing a great job tonight. All right, then... <sighs> I participated in Friday Night Fight Night. I had been doing so good and not participating, but I just felt the need to. And I'm so happy I did because, dude, this is spectacular. And it's 20 count my jam. Look at how pretty that is. And if you're not familiar with Brandy at B Stitch Me and her Friday Night Fight Nights, if you participate on Saturday, she does giveaways. And if you've bought even one piece, you get to enter. And they're all kinds of amazingness. This time, she had some really good stuff, including this piece of 20 count Ada in Electric Avenue, which like leads me to feel the need to sing. So if you're at home and you know that song, you want to sing with me? We're gonna walk on to Electric Avenue and we'll take it higher. We're gonna rock on to Electric Avenue. And then we'll take it higher. Okay, so now that earworm's in your head. And I'll be singing it all night long. Dear Stitchy Maker, Joanna, Stitching the High Notes. She makes some of my most favorite, favorite, favorite knitting bags. She, I also have one of her needlework bags, and it's beautiful. They are beautifully handcrafted bags. They're already a spectacular value. Well, Right around the new year, she posted on Instagram, hey, 20% off sale on everything remaining on my site. I'm like, what? You know, keyboard warrior. Because I had only bought one bag, and I bought the cute woodland animals, and I bought it in the needlework pouch. But I loved every bag she did because it has the sparkly Essex linen. So I might have bought another small drawstring. Look at that. But jam, but jam, but this is Electric Avenue. Look, we can put this up next to it. We're gonna rock on to Electric Avenue. Joanna, take it higher. With your awesome bags. So I got that one. So cute. I don't know what might be left. And then I have been jonesing after one of her sweater bags. Boom. Look at how pretty this is. Look at this pattern. And then look. It's more of that sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I love it. It's so good. The cinnamon sticks and the holly berries and the pine cones and the orange. Oh, it's so good. Joanna does not watch me, but if she if she did, one, I'd die. Two, thank you so much for being such an amazing crafter who shares your gift with us. All right, so then um, 
Crazy Annie's often will post when she's got charts coming in. And I had seen this as um, was going to be coming up as a release from Stitching with the Housewives. And so I said, me please, whenever it comes in. So I got this in the mail. This is Be Mine. I think this is adorable. Um, so I'm excited to have this one. I might start this on Valentine's Day because I think it's so cute. The little chickens and the bees and those flowers are so cute and the bee scat. Love it. So and I love that big red check bow. All right. So then the remainder of my, um, my hallelujah is courtesy of the Black Needle Society. So the first thing is they on the 26th Boxing Day did a release of past mystery box items that were not considered exclusives. So it was not everything that's ever been in a mystery box. And so they had some needle minders from their camp Black Needle Society, which I did not participate in because I'm dumb and didn't know any better. Um, now I will know to never mess any. Pretty much. Yep. So this one describes me. So I had to have it. It's a needle minder that says floss liquor. My name is Annie and I am a floss liquor to the day I die. Um, it's bad. I know. But I learned from my mom. She's a floss liquor. She puts her needle in her mouth. And I said, stop it. I don't do that anymore. Because I got needle minders. I need to give her a needle minder. There we go. All right, and then this one also describes me, so I had to have it, and it says cereal starter. Yep. So I've got my floss liquor and my cereal starter. I love it that they're like little bad badges, like my Girl Scout badges. They're my stitchy, my stitchy Scout badges. So I got those. Then they posted, after the Frogwarts box went on sale, um, I got mine on pre-order, not pre-order day, but like the day before because I'm a current subscriber. I do believe they are still available. If you have not gone to secure your Frogwarts box, I would because they announced that from here on out, the Frogwarts patterns will not be released separately until all seven years are done. I've, I've told you, I've warned you, don't be sad. Go now. Order. That was my PSA. But they did, since there's only been one year, they did go ahead and release the year one band sampler because there's a plan that you can stitch them all together. Well, I'm participating year two and everyone after. And so I needed this. Yeah. Um, so I did get the band sampler. And then amazingly included was a chocolate frog needle minder. Look at how cool. And look at this chart. So these, I think, might still be on the site. I'm not 100% sure. Go to blackneedlesociety.com. I love their patterns. So amazing. The artwork is exclusive to them. It was designed by Katie. It says Catherine, but Katie. Um, and it has the supply list on the back. So awesome. And then I love, this was a surprise. Thank you so much, guys. I love it. I was like, oh! when I got it. All right, so now the last thing is courtesy of them as well. Spoiler! Spoiler! I mean, you've seen this, but this is spoiler alert for date with your stitching, which is the January. They now do a subscription box service. I call it a service because they are serving me with amazingness every other month from here on out. Um, as long as they do them, I will get one. Even if I have to cancel everything else, I will keep them. Um, so the January theme, the very first, very first is date with your stitching. And I will tell you, I love their box. It's so pretty with the stork scissors. Oh, so good. I've already opened this. Joyful little one wanted to participate in my opening. So we've got a beautiful card with artwork on the front. It's got some details about the, um, photo challenge. It's got a spoiler card, which I did not look at first. It also talk, gives us a, a welcome from Katie and Laura. And then it talks about the currently available box, which if you have not gone, I think it's still available. May is Rainbow Stitches, which ah, uh, that image alone is like, yes! Mm -hmm. So I don't know exactly where to go first, but I will say we got a, a date night candle. 
and it smells insanely good. And it's Wick Wish, the Black Needle Society exclusive. It's oak moss, amber, lavender, and tonka bean. I do not know what tonka bean is, but it smells awesome. It smells like a really, like almost a citrusy man cologne smell. Kind of smells like my husband right after he gets out of the shower and combs his hair. <laughs> it looks nice. Um, okay, what else did we get? Oh, yes, we got, this is Lolo to go, in stitches, head to toe moisturizer, quick absorbing, eco luscious. Yes, eco luscious, I've never heard that. But it's this beautiful, it's got a real subtle scent, but it's a bar moisturizer. So you can take this out and like rub it in your hands. Ooh, that's nice. I need that. My hands are like crocodiles lately with how dry our weather's been. I have seen Michelle talk about these. And what's funny is Joyfield Little One went, can I have it? I said, uh, no, this is an adult lollipop. Not that it's got booze in it, but it is a fancy lollipop and it is blueberry lemon thyme and it's from the laughing forest it's beautiful those are blueberries in there it smells delicious too excited all right what to show next oh we got some pretty scissors look at how beautiful these are these are like fancy downton abbey scissors love them so i've got to find a cool place for those to go Oh, this, this though, I will share with Joyful Little One because she is fully, fully invested in this. This is Love Potion number nine, color changing hot chocolate. She's like, what? She's like, that sounds magical. I'm like, it does. We'll have to try it out. You're going to let me try it out? It's like, yes. I'll drink hot chocolate by myself. I don't drink hot chocolate hardly, period. We got an awesome awesome pouch i already used my one from the fall box this one has this beautiful image it's got um text i believe from jane Eyre, because it's got the text behind it says and then it's got the quote i am no bird and no net ensnares me it's beautiful i love the watercolor psh, like splotches i'm not great at describing products I can just tell you they're amazing. And then the inside is real soft and velvety. It's like a faux leather. It's a fleather. I've lost my mind, folks. We have a specialty floss. And it's beautiful. It's from Fiber on a Whim. <clears throat> and it's called Bouquet. Isn't that pretty? I love that. That's calling for a monochrome piece. We did get a cut of fabric. We got to choose between, I actually uh, messaged with Katie about this. Our choice was, according to the literature and when we picked via Google form, a 16 count Ada or a 32 count linen or even weave. When this came in from Fiber on a Whim, by the way, it's gorgeous. This is in the color lipstick. It's an eighth yard. This is 14 count Ada. So I reached out because, not because I'm upset, I'll stitch on anything. I just was curious for count wise what this looks like. But when I look at it, that's not a 14 count. That's like a, that's either a tight 16 or an 18. Easy. So I just think it's mislabeled. I will, I will use my cool Misty, Mystic Fabrics little matchup thing to see. But I'm guessing this is closer to like a small 16 or an 18. But I don't care. I'll stitch on it because it's gorgeous. Look at that color. So this is fiber on a whim. I believe it's exclusive to the box. I don't know that for a fact. Then we got a, a needle minder, an exclusive needle minder, which I'm going to tell you is the bomb. Genius. They are called it's stitch hearts. It's so like sweet tarts, but it's stitch hearts. And inside it says... Love my exes. Let's stitch just exes. And cross my, my heart. 
maybe? I don't know. I don't know, but it's awesome. I love it. So I'm going to have a lot of needle minders to add up to my roll. And then we've got an exclusive chart from Hands On Design. It's a waffle lot. Isn't that so cute? I love you a waffle lot. So cute. And it's actually like, this is the back and sides, and then this is the top. I love it. And see, now I want to stitch this too. Oh, God. Stitch all the things. Who cares about hitting 42 whips by 42? Me. Oh, it's going to pick that. It's going to pick my 87 chins to do this my screen grab. But I'm gonna tell you right now, Katie, Laura, this box is phenomenal. My uh, Lost in Austin box, which was a special box, should be coming soon at some point, and I'm excited about that. So we've got date with your stitching. So go jump on the frog warts, go subscribe to the box, do all those things. This is not, um, I am not a rep. I am not a brand ambassador for them. I just love their, their products, and it's fantastic. It's amazing. I think everybody should join them. Join me in getting the awesomeness. All right. So I really think that I have chatted about just about everything. Sophia says, one time in Sicily. Not now, Sophia. We don't have time for a Sicily story, okay? Eh. Sorry if I upset you. I'm exhausted, guys. <laughs> the funniness and the foolishness comes out when I'm exhausted. All right, we have Teresa Kogut Angel Kindness cards that I share each uh, week at the end of my videos. I think I'm getting too close to a point where I'm gonna start duplicating maybe. I'm not sure, I need to look back and see when I started these and see if I wanna just continue or if I wanna find something else or, I don't know, we'll see. But I thought she is gorgeous. She looks so peaceful. She looks so like lost in thought. I love it. Um, and on the back it says, when making big decisions, do your best to take your emotions out of the equation. Your mind will serve you better. So when making big decisions, do your best to take your emotions out of the equation. Your mind will serve you better. I think that's a great, great thought. Um, here in the U.S., we are embarking upon the beginning of a momentous week for us. Um... It's a week where hopefully the divisions do not cause any additional strife, stress, strain, anxiety, all those things that many of us have been feeling for quite some time. Um, and I hope that it also will help to bring us together for being what was once the most powerful country in the world. We're struggling. I like being number one. I'm number one in my own eyes. But as a country, I, I don't like looking like a laughing stock. And just because we we are we have different sides that are disagreeing doesn't mean we have to look so embarrassed. I don't know if that's even making any sense. I just I'm ready for the world that I'm raising my daughter in to be better for everybody. Um, obviously, I have a child that will never in her lifetime experience any kind of, well, she will not be looked at as less than. And um, she's spectacular, but I think every kid is spectacular and deserves a world where they can feel spectacular no matter what they look like no matter what they believe no matter what they think um my my thing for her is i want her to grow up a strong woman and to know that women are worth a lot she asked me in the car the other day why have we never had a um female president I said, because 
for a very long time, people in our country believed that a woman could not do that. But I'm here to tell you that a woman can and can do it well. Um, and then, of course, she goes on to say, well, what would her husband be called? I said, maybe first gentleman. I say we, I say we, we figure that out so that it can happen. And we can have a first gentleman. And this is all stemming from the fact that they, they do a president's and first ladies um, unit during this, during third grade at this point in the year. They research, they get to select um, a president or a first lady. Now they have to like, everybody's given an opportunity to pick and it's random so that, you know, not everybody's going to maybe get their first choice. But they research they learn a lot about them, and then they do a living museum. In the past, it's meant they do a presentation. They dress up as their president or first lady. They have like a sticker, like a circle sticker on their hand, and everybody can come in, push push on their hand, and they tell about themselves as if they are the president or first lady. Um, this year, it's going to be via... Um, Facebook Live because we're obviously in a different world right now, but I love that they're still holding strong with that, and I love that they're spending time talking about our country and how it's changed, how it's changed. Um, so, yeah, I, I pray for this week. I pray that it it uh, really shows the light at the end of a very dark, dark time. It's the beginning. I'm hoping it's the beginning. Um that we can start to heal. And this has nothing to do with my political stand. It has to do with, I'm ready to feel, to be able to take deep breaths and not worry about what is coming next. And who else might be hurt by that? So anyway, I, I don't want to end on such a ugh, note. Um, I really do, uh, Hope you have a great week. My dad's birthday is on Inauguration Day. So, um, it's kind of cool. Um, Joyfield Little One's birthday is in a little over a week, which is really cool. Um, she was supposed to be born on March 1st, but she decided to arrive six weeks early. So, she's a January baby. Um, and she just was ready to do things on her own time. <laughs> Anywho... Um, and to end this on a fun little note, this is my current notebook that I'm taking notes in. I just think it's so fun. Look at all those fancy cats. Um, I'm allergic to cats, but not to this notebook. So there you go. All right, my friends. Um, I've rambled. I, I don't know what happened at the end. I'm gonna have to watch back to even see what I said and see if it's coherent at all. Um, take it with a grain of, a grain of whatever. Um, a grain of sugar, a grain of sand, a grain of salt. Um, I'm just some some chick sitting here on uh, YouTube chatting at you, showing you my my craftiness, and occasionally diving into more of life. Anywho, with that being said, I wish you a wonderful week ahead. Um, if you have a long weekend, I hope you get some stitching in. Even if you have just a regular weekend, I hope you get some stitching in, and the weather is nice where you are. Um, and with that, I will say so long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, and I'll see you next Friday.